So we all here at Rafa's garage. Today we're gonna work on Smurf right here. Uh, figures out when I was racing Mark, the light turned on. Um, and I have a random misfire and um, misfire on cylinder two. So let me show you guys. Let's put it in my scanner and put the key on. Now we. You guys can see loads it was throwing. Turn off my AC. And no, it's not Lexus, but it doesn't really matter. Just generic codes. So there you go. Cylinder misfire two. Oh, I got three. Random misfire, like I said. Uh, and pending, so it's almost the same shit. So I'm gonna check my coils right now. Um, not my coils, my spark plugs. See how they are. Um, usually when it's random, usually it's your spark plugs. Um, when it's a one cylinder, then it's usually your coil or injector, or maybe also a spark plug. And later on, I'm gonna wash this car. This is dirty, and. Put it in storage. I also had to do an oil change on it. So before I go to AutoZone or anywhere, I'm gonna see if I need spark plus first. So that's why I'm checking first. So just gotta remove my C1 engine cover and I should get access to my coils and spark plugs. Took off one of the spark plugs. It seems like it has a little bit of oil. Um, these are fairly new. I think I replaced them when I put the motor in. So uh, let me check the other ones, see if there's oil on them. I don't think I need spark plugs, but we'll see right now. So I took them out, um, seems like all of them have a little bit of oil, so that means that my my valve cover gasket is no good. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean them up, put them back in there, replace that uh, valve cover gasket, and swap these coils. This one's in cylinder 2 and this is cylinder 1, so I'm going to just swap it, seeing if it changes from misfire from cylinder two to one so that's one two three four so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm just gonna swap things um I'm not sure if i'm gonna swap the injectors um maybe i will maybe i won't but probably will since i'm gonna take off all this stuff out so <clears throat> might as well swap the Injector from cylinder 2 to cylinder 3 see if it jumps from 2 to 3 I know it's the injector if it jumps from 2 to 1 it is the coil put them back in they're not tight right now but i'll tighten them later and this is coil number one right now i'm gonna swap it put it over here go to autozone real quick buy the stuff and some oil gotta do an oil change so i got no oil plus i gotta do an oil change on this one that one over there and gt4 over there so <clears throat> hopefully i get a good discount so I already got the oil, the filter, and the valve cover gasket. This was only like 22 bucks. Uh, oil change was what, like 26, 27 right now, full synthetic. So let's get it started. Take off this valve cover. So there it is, I 
I take it off. Uh, it's pretty easy. Take off the engine cover. Um, take off all these little bolts around there, size 10s. I already done it before doing the lift bolts. It's pretty easy. Um, and as you can see, we do have oil here and here. So let's replace it. Yeah. And my baby is doing the oil change on the truck, helping me out. Cause I gotta do an oil change on this, on the truck and on GT4. So, sucks when all of them need oil change. So there it is. You can see that this two right here was getting a lot of oil in there. These were good. But at the end, replacing all of them. So, it's already on there. Um, and it's blue to match my color. Not like you're gonna see it, but um, there they are. Um, now I just gotta change the injector from injector two to injector three, swap those out and that's it. Put everything back together and go for a test drive. Hopefully, you know, that was it. If not, um, either the injectors or the coil is gonna tell me what, what, what went wrong with. Injectors are pretty easy. Just take off two bolts right there, size 12. Uh, take off the rail, and this is first, second, third, and fourth. So I'm gonna swap this one and this one. And while I'm out of here, I'm gonna clean all that oil that's in there, right there. Shut up. Everything's back together. Um, I'm gonna start doing the oil changes and washing this car, doing for a test drive. My drawer is already done with that one. So I turn off the light, have no codes. I'm gonna go for a test drive later on, not today. Um, reason being is because I already put this car in storage. So in a month, I'll take it out, see if it still has a misfire or not. If, or if it's switched, I'll keep you guys posted later. Um, as far as the oil change, I don't think I'm gonna do it. My girl's gonna do it because I gotta go to work, so not sure if she's gonna record. If she records, um, I'll post it up. If not, um, you guys already know how to do an oil change on a Celica, I don't have to tell you guys. Um, and wash it up. So, time to do my oil change. Um, I got everything set up, Jack. Luckily, I don't have to put the woods. Uh, now that I'm running 17s and raise it up a little bit, I don't need the wood to put the jack under there. And of course my old filter, my drip pan. <clears throat> and I forgot the oil, but it's in the house. So I'm gonna do it real quick and then wash this baby, put it in storage and put it over there where my brother's MR2 and cover it up and that way two cars are able to be here in the shade and mine is kind of technically in the shade since it has a cover done with the oil changes now i gotta clean up a little bit and move all these cars around wash this car doing oil changes on gt4 and maybe doing oil change on this one too so the car is already supposed to be where they're at since I'm not driving Smurf, she's all the way at the end. 240's in the garage. That's not gonna get moved out pretty soon. And my little brother doesn't drive his MR2 that much, so that's why it's third. 
I'm not sure if my girl is gonna drive her car and <clears throat> uh, Evo needs work so that's why I left it till the end and GT4 is my daily right now so um, that's why it's all the way at the end I usually have this car parked in the street but since the sweeper is coming um, today I put it inside but she usually parks outside since she looks all ugly to watch this baby now so let's try something different Leave it alone. is all clean but we still have glue residue from the tape that I put on for the danger caution stuff and what I'm gonna use is goo gun this is very good to removing sticky compartments like this um, it's also good to remove plastic dip if it's very thin uh, spray it on there it's new just spray it on there let it sit for uh i say like a good 10 minutes five to ten minutes and then wipe it clean it should come off like water so i'm gonna spray it around the whole parts that i still have some sticky residue Done with the car wash. Now to slap this cover on and you know have it stored. It's more velo time, fucker. <laughs> Hurry up, open it. Shut up, I'm not talking key rings. Hurry up. Hurry up, Mark. Hurry up. Hurry up. They can wait. Nah. Your viewers. I gotta, I gotta do a 10 minute video. This is like 26 seconds, 28. Fuck. <laughs> he ain't Mexican. Shut up. So that's it, guys. We already covered it up, washed it, did an oil change, and fixed. What? Well, think we fixed the fucking misfire. And. Wait! You didn't go test it? I haven't tested it. It's on storage. What a. Yeah, I can't, I can't take it on the street. Bitch, one. 
Up, one down, done. Oh, and if it gets an accident, you're gonna pay for the damages? I I'm not covered at all. Like, I took nothing. even when it was in storage. Alright, bye uh -huh. guys! <laughs> Bye guys, thanks for hey, watching. Plug, subscribe. Plug, triple A insurance. Rafael Rios, he owns these cars. <laughs> he got no insurance. <laughs> Whatever. USA. So I'm out. <laughs> Catch you on the next one. Oh you won't.